Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And today we're bringing you a new fun deck. It is called Life Break. It's with our boy Melgus. And it's got a little craziness to it. But before we get into it, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below, guys. Check it out. See what you like, see what you don't like. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some extra love and support, and we would greatly appreciate it. With that, let's delve into Life Break. So, Melgus. He is the red black ruler from the first AO set. And he's got Stranger 10, and he's got Judgment of two red and a black, energizes red and a black, which energizes is actually very important in this deck because you can go pretty crazy on turn one. Oh yeah. Um, and then when a fire regalia enters the field under your control, you choose one. If the regalia is Levantine, you choose two. Choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it in your hand. Or this card does 500 damage to target player, or J Resonator, sorry. Or Put a 7-1 Fire Resonator into play with Swiftness. At, at the end of turn, it vanishes. Or you pay 0 to Judgment. Sweet. So you can do a lot of damage really, really quickly with him. And then he Judgments into a 10-10 First Strike. And enter, you choose a card from a Stranger deck at random and put it into the field. And then God's Art is you pay a red and a black, sacrifice a dude, draw two cards, choose a card from a Stranger deck at random and put it into the field. Yeah. Great. You're getting all the value that you ever need. All dudes, all the time. Yeah. All the strangers, all the time, making dudes. Just silliness. His strangers, I chose a little different, but like most of them are kind of the same. Because Azazel is just too good. Yeah. Azazel the Blazing Charger. He's a red and a black for a 7-7 seven, seven stranger. Resonator you control gains swiftness. And when a resonator you control is put into a graveyard from the field, this card deals 200 damage to target player or J resonator. Pay a red, target J Resonator must attack or block this turn if able. Sweet. Thanks. I'm gonna force you into bad blocks because I can. Yep. Next is Kuchaline, the hero in a far land. He has two red and a black for a 10 10 stranger. He's got first strike and bane. This card gains swiftness and precision as long as your life total is less than 2000. And whenever this card attacks, your opponent discards a card. So the way this deck works, you should be less than 2000 pretty quickly. Yep. Or at least on a certain turn, so that way you can like play this dude that turn, go to under 2,000, swing, and then you I mean, get your life back. Exactly. Uh, we also have the healing gimmick, because sometimes you go a little crazy, you need to gain some life back. He has zero for a 2-6 Stranger Machine, and you banish this card, gain, zero, gain 1,000 life, draw a card. So he helps you get your life back and just go. Yeah, which is ridiculous. Um... One of the big boys in the Stranger deck, actually in this deck, is Amon, the Demon Prince of Conspiracy. He is a black for 0-0. Zero, zero. As this card enters the field, pay any amount of life. This card enters the field with a 1-1 one, one counter on it for each 100 life paid this way. Enter, put a draw a card for each 700 life paid as this card enters the field. So, in all honesty, you could pay 39 life and have a 39-39 with this dude. Yep. And if you have an Azazel, then you get to just almost one-shot somebody. Yeah, pretty much. And it's kind of ridiculous. Um, but just be careful, because if you do that, you go to one, and it's a dangerous op. Or if you want to go super ham, and Judgment turn two with the or yeah, Leviathan and thing, and play Malgus. If you get lucky to get Zazel and that, then yeah. you just win. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. But that's hard. And the final one we have is Barbados, the Crimson Duke. He is a red for a 7-7 seven, seven Stranger with Swiftness. Enter, you rest all of the J Resonators. So he gets there for sure when you need him to get there. Mm -hmm. And so you want to like play him first if you have no other dudes and then he taps all your dudes down and you swing seven, then you play more dudes. It's not really, he doesn't really take away from you all that much. But that is it for the strangers. There's 10 of them and two of each. So we got five. Simple as that. All right, we'll get into the resonators here. And of course the corners on the deck is Lucifer, leader of the fallen angels. Two black and one, seven, nine signed. And flying, pay 1,000 life. This card gains plus two, plus two till end of turn. Sounds meh, but as you can tell, it triggers a lot of things. You can pay two black and one, pay 1,000 life, discard a card, put put this card from your graveyard onto the field, which is amazing. And what happens then? At the end of your turn, gain life equal to the amount of life you lost this turn. Thank you. Yeah, he is really the cornerstone of the deck because you're going to be paying a lot of life and he just gains you it all back. Yeah. Just like that, as long as he doesn't die. That's well, where the healing gimmick comes Or that in. ability gets counterspelled. So Oof. just be worrisome of a blue wizard being like, hey, no. Yeah, thanks. At, at least. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, the next one is Man Transmuter. It's a black and two, six, seven. Pay 300 life, produce any will of whatever you need. Play this ability only once per turn. Extremely good, extremely powerful. Yeah, he's there to help you get extra mana. That's what his purpose is for. And of course, my waifu, Estima, is here. It's a two black and one, seven, six, fallen angel. It has flying, of course. Enter. The opponent loses 500 life. If you have three more runes build, you gain 500. We're not gonna have any runes, it doesn't matter. But you can pay 400, draw a card, only once per turn on your turn, and pay 1,000 life, your opponent loses 500, also once per turn your turn. And to be able to do both of those with a Lucifer on the field and then gain it all back is pretty beautiful. Yeah. With Estima, you kind of only have to play to 15, which is kind of nice, because you're just like, cool, Estima, you lose 5. Yeah. Then I'm going to pay some life, and you just, it's, 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 it makes your life much easier. Exactly. Uh, next up is one of the fun cards of the new set is Elemental of the Demon Sword. It is two red and a black for a 12-10 or 12-1. 12-1. Yeah. And he's got Swiftness and Precision. At the end of your turn, banish this card. When this card is put into a graveyard from the field, choose a card from a stranger deck at random and put it into your hand. Seems good. Rest a recovered Leviton you control. Put this card from a graveyard into the field. If it would leave the field this turn, remove it from the game instead. Or no, if it would leave the field, period, removed from the game instead. Only yeah. if you use that ability to yeah, get into play. Only. Otherwise, it auto-kills itself. But it's there for a really cute combo, because turn one, you're able to play Leviton with another card, and we'll get to it when you get the full combo. But essentially, this card, turn one, swinging, is pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Seems pretty powerful. Also another powerful is Blazer. It's a two red, two black, 10-10 uh, dragon flying. Enter. Target J- Resonator, your opponent controls, loses all abilities until end of turn, then destroy it. Just like that. Gets, I guess, around it immo er, immortal? Eternal. Eternal. There we go. That's it. If a J Ruler was destroyed this way, the ruler your opponent controls loses all abilities until end of game. Yeah. I mean, why not for four drop 10 10 flying? Hey, I might as well. Yeah. It's Blazer. He's back killing dudes. Yeah. Uh, next up is Satan, God of the Fallen. He is a black and a red for, and three for a 14-14. And he's got a whole lot of text. Yeah. Um, but when you search your deck, you pay red or black and remove from the deck. Remove from the game. Then, uh, as long as this card is removed from the game, whenever a Fallen counter is on it, it gains whenever an effect you control or cost causes you to lose life you add if this card is in your removed area you can pay x with it and like you can pay its cost to bring it in play or add counters to it every yep. time you lose life it gets a counter added to it and then when he enters you choose one if there's 10 or more you choose both but that likelihood no, is very low yeah uh your opponent banishes a resonator repeat this process until the combined total cost of resonators banished this way is equal to or greater than the number of fallen counters on this card Ridiculous. Or put any number of resonators from equal from your equal to the total from your graveyard into play. So you want to get him out pretty quickly on turn one or turn two to start just taking damage. And the mana transmitter helps with him because you just pay life and that yeah. triggers him. Estima triggers him. Lucifer triggers him. And hopefully you have a Lucifer in play to just gain all that back so you don't really lose out on anything. Exactly. And that's kind of his purpose. Another cute combo with all the ability of lose life is Belial, the evil from the scriptures. He is three black and three for a 12-12 flyer. If your life is a thousand or less, this card costs three less to play. And you enter, destroy all non-fallen angels. And then when a resonator is put into a graveyard from the field, this card deals 100 damage to your opponent. So you can pay your life down to under a thousand with any number of cards. And then play this dude for three, kill the board. And then Lucifer gives all your stuff, gives your life back because yep. he's a fallen angel, so he does not die to a Belial. Exactly. Seems good. Yeah. No, why not? I mean, you just pump up Lucifer and just swing in really big. Yeah. All right. And the first spell of the deck is Secret Duel in the Moonlight. It's a one red. It's a sword art slash moon art, but we have we can't we have to do that on the next set hopefully. Yeah. But as an additional cost to play this card, pay any amount of life. Draw a card for each one thousand life paid this way. Awakening red. This card deals X damage, divide it as you choose to any number of target J resonators, where X is the amount of life paid as additional cost. So technically it costs two red no matter what, but for able to just blast things away and then gain all the life back with Lucifer, seems yeah. good. And you can pay the two red with Leviathan because it is a sword art. Yeah, exactly. So there's a sweet. moon awakening, but we don't know what that Yeah, we don't have a way to make it, so it's not really needed right now. Exactly. And the next one is Regalia Break. It's one red quick cast. 
That's a sword art as well. Quick cast, destroy target regalia. Draw a card. Because that needs to happen now. That, that's the world we live in right now. Yep. If you're playing new rulers, you've got to have regalia kill or else they'll just trample you. It's kind of ridiculous. Right. Uh, next up is Lick of Corruption. This is almost the same thing. Just does it beforehand. It is a black. It is just a chant. Look at your opponent's hand. Choose a card four or less. They discard the card. If it was awakened, you can get a five or greater, and it awakens for black and one. It's really just turn one, look at their hand, get a four or less card, yep. and they can't really do much about it. And the next spell is very powerful. It's a bloody break. It's a black and a red quick cast. Sword art as well. Destroy target J Resonator. <laughs> yeah. It could, it's, it could stop right there <laughs> and be perfectly fine. But if this card was awakened, choose a card from your stranger deck at random, put it in your hand, and the awakening is one red extra. That's it. Yeah. Just kill a J and go grab a dude. Thanks. Uh, next up is Invitation to Purgatory. This is the card that fuels the deck. Mm -hmm. It is two black. It is a chant rune, so you can play it as a chant, which is what we're doing. And it produces a red and a black. Search your deck for a card, put it in your graveyard. Then if there's a card named Satan in your removed area, you search your deck for a card and put it in your graveyard. So, turn one, you go second with Energized Coin, you play two mana, you pay two black, and you play this card. You get a red and a black, you go search for the Elemental Sword, put it in the graveyard. Then your red and a black plays for your Leviathan. When Leviathan plays, you can tap it to bring it into play your Elemental Sword. Also, Leviathan triggers Melgus' abilities. Uh, you can take five, and I get a 7-1 haste. So turn one, I can hit you for 24 damage. Yep. I will take you down to 16 on turn one. Great. Seems good. Yeah, seems like a good play. That is why this card's there. And if you need to, if you want to play the slower game, you can pay the red and remove uh, Satan and then pay the black for Look of Corruption and just play the little bit slower game. But either way, it works. Yeah, exactly. And speaking of Leviathan, here it is. There's a black and red Regalia. It has Mythic, so you can only have one on the field. And your J Ruler gains Swiftness, which is nice. You can tap, produce two wheels of any combination of red and black. Spin this only to play God's Art, Abilities, Strangers, or Sword Arts. Simple as that. And the final card of the deck is Dance of the Shadows. It is a black and three. It is a mage art, so you cannot play it easily with the Leviathan, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, it is quick cast in Remnant, and put target resonated from your graveyard into the field at the next end of turn, remove it from the game. So it's there to just help you pay your big boys quicker. So you can also Invitation of Purgatory of Belial into your graveyard to set it up for later, and you're like, cool, you're swinging now? Let's Dance of Shadows my Belial to kill all your board. Yep. And you can't do anything about it. It's cute. So this card's just there to help you get your dudes there to, to protect you. Uh, this, the stones, they're really, really simple. Oh, like, yeah. We're playing two colors. Been a minute, I know. Uh, but we got Magic Stone and the Scorched Bales, which is the red black stone. Add Arachne's Memoria, which is also red black stone because Melgus is red black. And then Darkness Magic Stones because we're mostly playing black. That's really what we want. This deck's gonna be super fun, super aggro. Yeah. I, I don't know what's gonna happen when it's played because it's just be like, hey, you die turn three. But hey, it's kind of what Melgus does. Yeah. Um, but we're excited to see what it can do. So stick with us and check out our brawls. The deck list will be down below, guys. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. All right. See y'all again next time. Goodbye. Bye. Also guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all our future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.